The next learning paradigm is unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning involves learning the model parameters from given unlabeled training data set and unlabeled training data set consists of only input variables x size say for i from 1 to n and here x i is our input variable or predictor variable or covariate or independent variable and here note that we don't have any output variable y i given to us so the objective of unsupervised learning is to discover structure feature or pattern in the data based on some inherent characteristic of the data and because the output variable is not part of our data set there is no explicit supervisor or judge that can guide our learning and that's why this learning is called unsupervised learning some of the examples of unsupervised learning are clustering where we group the given data based on some inherent characteristics this sounds similar to classification but because class labels are not part of our training data set the grouping done based on some inherent characteristic is called clustering next is association analysis in association analysis our objective is to discover some interesting relationship among the items in a large data set so if we look at the example of clustering in more detail say we have a data set consisting of these objects and we want to cluster them now depending on how many clusters we want to form the different inherent characteristics will play important role in deciding the clustering so for example if we want to group this data set in two clusters then the model will have to learn the parameters based on some inherent characteristics so that the entire data set is partitioned into two clusters and if we look at the individual objects we can think that one possible clustering may be items which are polygons like triangles and squares and another cluster could consist of circles so this will be one possible way in which our machine learning model can learn the parameters so that entire data set can be partitioned into two clusters now because we do not have any output label with our data set we cannot guarantee that this will be the only possible clustering for two clusters but this is one of the possible ways in which some inherent characteristic of objects in our data set can lead to two clusters of this type similarly if we want to form three clusters out of our data set then one possible way could be triangles in one cluster squares in another cluster and circles in third cluster and our model will have to learn the parameters accordingly